welcome to Cole's World. I'm Cole Canoe, author, YouTuber, gamer, and aerialist. And today is Transformation Tuesday. So I am here with a trans update for you guys. Um, if you don't already know, I started testosterone in October of 2022. Um, and I took about, let's see, I took like three shots. So I was on it for about three weeks and then I had an ACL surgery. Um, so I had to stop taking testosterone for about a month. Um, and in those first like three weeks, uh, the only real change that I noticed might have been like a little bit of increase in like energy and definitely like increase in libido, which to be honest, not sure how much of that was actually like testosterone versus like maybe just like being excited and happy about being on tea, but who knows? Maybe it was. Um, but yeah, so then I had to take an entire month off and I've kind of just like restarted my counter because like I said, nothing had really changed. Um, so I kind of restarted taking testosterone, um, what, December? December, I think, of 2022. So I'm currently seven shots in. So I am like six weeks and a day. I took my seventh shot like yesterday. Um, so I'm like six weeks on T currently, um, and again, as far as changes go, around week five, post, you know, start restarting, post restarting T, um, my voice started breaking where like it was just like dying, where I would be trying to talk, and then like at certain points it would just like cut out, like it just like dead voice i i kind of uh talked about it a little bit over my tiktok but i compared it to like when you either talk a lot or talk really loud in a crowd or like have been singing your music really loud in the car and then like your voice kind of like um you almost like lose your voice a little bit it's kind of like losing your voice for like oh i overused it and now like it cuts out on you uh that is what was happening except without me having overused my voice ahead of time because it was like in the morning and I'm just like trying to talk normally um, to my partner and like words be getting cut off feel like there's like almost feels like there's something in my throat like <clears throat> trying to like clear my throat and trying to like speak it's just like weird kind of kind of felt weird and uh, I did experience that some more in like week six not as like noticeably or as like intensely as I did in like week five like week five I was like oof it feels like something's in my throat, like my throat's irritated, like what is happening. Um, it wasn't like, I don't know, it was just weird. It was, it was weird and like maybe uncomfortable. It wasn't like painful or anything like that, but it was just weird and adjusting to that. Um, but yeah, so then like in week six or last week, I noticed that uh, I'd be trying to sing in the car because that's what I do. I like to sing my music in the car. And I um, can't quite sing in the same way that I used to. There are definitely some like higher pitches that like my voice just wants to cut out completely. And like I can feel that I'm having to adjust to like, instead of matching the pitch of like the song that I have to like go lower. And like by no means am I a singer or good at singing in any capacity. Um, I usually just try to like match what I hear not that I do that very well in general, um, but I did and I have noticed a change where I'm like, oof, I need to like try to sing this lower because my voice keeps breaking and I cannot sing it at the higher pitches. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. I think you can actually tell a little bit of a difference between like my voice in like this video or, or my most recent videos and comparing them to my old videos because I have lots of old videos here on YouTube. Um, I think you can actually tell a little bit of a difference. So definitely a change that I have been experiencing and noticing. Uh, and then I definitely think that I've been having more energy for like working out and stuff. So like obviously I'm not doing what I used to do because I had ACL surgery. Um, but I have been able to get back into the gym and I've taken a couple core classes and I did notice that like I don't get winded like I used to like I feel like I used to do high intensity stuff and Like even just doing consistent cardio like I would just I would just get very winded very easily like Breathing and breathing recovery was always like 
the barrier for me. Like I can do strength stuff and everything else. And like I did cardio and I, I like to run. Um, but like breathing was always the limitation for me. And it, I felt like it was very odd that I went and I took this core class and I did not feel winded at all, especially after having taken, you know, seven weeks off of exercise completely, <laughs> maybe more, um, because I had that ACL surgery. So I was really expecting it to be harder to get back into doing fitness stuff. I was really expecting to like struggle really hard. Um, and I, it's hard to say if like the class was just easier than what I used to always do, or if maybe I just did not lose as much fitness level as I thought I would, or if like the tea is actually helping. And I feel like when I researched it that, um, the testosterone is supposed to help with like recovery time and um, stuff like that. So I do think that it might actually be just from that, that um, working out is going to be easier uh, because of the testosterone, which is to, for me personally is extremely exciting because I like to work out five to seven times a week, um, you know, prior to my ACL uh, injury slash surgery. Um, but I am doing that now, like I am kind of getting around, I'm doing what I can, like getting on the bike and and uh, doing some aqua fit and doing the core classes and doing my physical therapy and stuff. So like, I'm not not doing stuff, I'm definitely doing stuff. And it's uh, interesting to see that it is easier. So I will be curious as to if that is still true once I start getting back into more high intensity stuff. Um, but yeah, so far I am excited. Um, I haven't had any issues with like stabbing myself. Um, but I guess I didn't really expect to have issues with that to begin with. Um, but yeah, no, I, uh, I feel pretty good about it, I guess. Feel, feel pretty good about it. Um, trying to think if there's anything else that I've like experienced, but I don't think so. I mean... A little more energy, um, definitely an increase in my libido, definitely. Um, and then my voice has been changing, and then I do think it's interesting that I have not had any like mood fluctuations, because um, when I saw my doctor originally, she mentioned that because, you know, you take your shot the one day, and then like basically by the end of that week, like your levels kind of like go up and down. Um, and that that can affect your mood. I have not noticed that happening at all. I am still on a low dose though. So I don't know if that's why I haven't noticed that or if maybe I, it just doesn't fluctuate enough to, to affect my mood, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so excited that I have not had any like mood disturbances in relation to uh, into taking the testosterone. But yeah, that is what I have for you guys today. If you like these types of videos, let me know by commenting below, giving this video a thumbs up, or subscribing to my channel. I put out new videos on Wednesdays, so I will be posting my trans updates on Tuesdays, kind of randomly. Um, if you have any questions that you'd like me to answer, feel free to drop them in the comments. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed your time here in Cole's World.